State transportation, transportation officials rather will delay removing the safety posts that protect bike lanes on the Longfellow Bridge. Those posts were set to come down tonight, a move that helps plow crews clear snow during the winter. WBZ's Tiffany Chan is live in Boston tonight with more on what's going on here. Tiffany? Ken and Katie, bicyclists telling me that these flex posts along the Longfellow Bridge can be life saving, especially on nights like these when it's raining and they have to share the road with other vehicles. That's why they're fighting so hard to keep these up, not just through the winter, but year round. <laughs> Navigating Boston by bicycle can be dangerous. It's really scary to be right next to a car going 40, 50 miles an hour when you're completely unprotected on your bicycle. These bike flex posts, Nathaniel Fillmore says, are helpful, separating cyclists from fast-moving cars on the Longfellow Bridge. The state installed the bollards in the spring and planned to remove them this weekend to make way for snow plows this winter, an idea that Fillmore says is dangerous. We need to be safe all year round, not just during the summer. MassDOT told us in an email that since there are no winter storms in the immediate forecast, they've made the decision not to remove the bicycle lane flex posts on the Longfellow Bridge bridge this weekend so that it can continue evaluating the stakeholder feedback it has received on the topic. Their main concern is that these bollards could get in the way of snow removal. Fillmore, along with others in the cycling community, are fighting to keep the posts up year-round, telling us everyone should be protected on the roadways. We need to be safe. Everybody needs to be safe on the roads, and that includes bicyclists. MassDOT says they want to hear from both bicyclists and drivers and other stakeholders before they make any decision to tear them down or to keep them up. Live in Cambridge tonight, I'm Tiffany Chan for WBZ News.